I've got a really nice fish on here. I want to make sure I land them. So just some, just some tips on how to properly net a fish. And the first thing is we're using a soft rubber mesh net. That's very easy on the fish. But once I get the fish up, I want to get his head pointed towards me and we always net a fish head first. So he's coming into the net because if he sees the net and he wants to run, he's going to swim forward because he can't swim backwards. So never chase a fish with your net. Just bring him up. Get him close to the surface. Get his head pointed towards you like so. Get your net ready. It's been wetted, so it's nice and wet now and damp. And then just slide them head first. So we've got the fish here. And now we can, fishing with a barbless hook, we can take the fly out and we can let the fish go. Uh, because we happen to be fishing a catch and release lake today, so there's, we, we don't kill fish. And if it was a, fi a lake we were fishing that you want, you're allowed to harvest fish, then you could just bring the net in the boat and, uh, and you can dispatch the fish. But now that because it's, we're gonna let this fish go, we're not gonna take them out of the water, okay? Now, if you wanted to take a picture of this fish, then you get your boat partner ready with the camera, ready to take the picture, and then you lift the fish quickly out of the water, three seconds and less, take the picture, and then put them back in the water. So right now I'm just gonna get the fly out of the sky Oh, there it is. So, so the fly, fly just popped out of his mouth. There's our little deer hair dragonfly nymph. And we're using it now because it's a, dragonflies are a good searching pattern. And uh, that's what we caught this guy on. So the fly's out. Oh, I just gotta get it out of the net. There, there it is. And here we got our fish. So if we wanted to take a quick picture of this fish, I uh, would just, you have to support the fish under its front fins or its, its uh, pectoral fins. Remember, a fish spends its whole time in a gravity-free environment. And so you don't want to hold the fish up by its caudal fin upside down or put your fingers in its gills and hold it up. It's, you're going to damage that fish and he may swim away, but he probably is not going to survive. So you want to grab the fish. Uh, gently by its caudal fin and then you cradle them underneath the fins right behind the head it's called the pectoral fins and you lift them up take the picture three seconds and put them back in the water and that fit that way that fish is totally stress-free and then we can uh, just slide them out of the net and again we've used a nice rubber mesh net and then we're just going to hold them till gently hold them by the tail until he's ready to swim away He's gone. So we're not holding that fish out of the water for more, maximum three seconds if you're going to take a picture. Otherwise, he spent his whole time in the net while we took the hook out and then you let him go. And so that fish is going to survive fine and someone else is going to be able to catch him.